all of the luxury content. I'm loving all of that, but I feel like you guys are only getting to see like a small portion of my life. And I feel like we could have so much more fun. We have so much fun over on Instagram. We talk so much, it is real life. I feel like it's like my whole other like side of me that they get to see over there and you guys don't. So we need to like merge things together and you guys need to be more a part of my life and more real life unfiltered like just very real and authentic like real and authentic like kids are sitting here we're getting ran around the door it's the last day of spring break we're still gonna do all the luxury content like you guys know like that is never changing like all those things are still gonna be part of you we're still gonna do bag reviews we're still gonna do all the things but like casual right like girlfriend to girlfriend, like hanging out, chilling, asking a friend up to a friend, like what is good, what is not. Like that's what I want. I want real life, like you and I are BFFs and we are going to work things up together. I'm gonna tell you the things that I love, what I think are great, what I don't like. You guys know I'm very honest, like very honest. You're gonna get all those things with me because too, on my other Disney channel, on my other Lux, or um, Disney Genie channel, I go like very casual and it's like a whole other side. So I feel like Lux and Life girls, like you guys are missing all of the things. You're missing all of like the like real things with me. So we're gonna do more of that. Which with that being said, we might have a change in the name. I might not be Lux and Life Genie anymore. We might change that up a little bit to maybe like just my name. Um, but we're, we're figuring things out. So let me know in the comments below. Are these things that we're gonna like? Are we not gonna like it? I know I take you guys along with all of the journeys, but let's stop talking. Let's show some fun. I'm gonna show you guys my pantry first of where we are at. I've already started organizing it, but you can see some problem children still there, which then we need to go shopping because we need some more things. So, and like I said, I'm also gonna show everything that I already have in the house. We're gonna do that once we get back and we can kind of finish up the pantry together. But yeah, I'm gonna have everything linked. Everything is available. Everything can be linked um, because there's some really good stuff. Okay, so in the pantry we go. You can see, you guys, it's still a mess. Like we still got some problems. This is real life. Like there's some dirt. There's, you know, some crumbs and things in here. I want to kind of show you, you know, a little bit of what we have. We don't want to go like too in depth, but this is a problem child here. This is all like the snacks. I don't do a lot of like pre-packaged snacks that like the, the things that are already because they're so expensive. Like the goldfish that's individually wrapped. I would rather have it like in a container and we put it in a baggie. So that's a lot of what that is. We got some like produce still. We have baking things. You can still see like we have some can. I don't do a lot of can things. So you're going to have to insert my things and insert your things or however that saying is supposed to go. Take out my things and add your things <laughs> to make it real life. And then I didn't do a seasoning cabinet in this house. So I did seasoning bins and I'm actually loving it because I can actually see what I have. So I kind of did a like natural seasonings, pre-mixed seasonings, the salt and peppers, and then like a dips popcorn toppers those kinds of things okay and then liquids we got a dog situation we need to kind of go through and do all that we still have some room up here so let's head to tj max i know i want to get some more of these bins and i want to get some kind of like storage situation down here organize the dog stuff i don't know we need to we need to think a little bit more but yeah like this you guys we'll talk about that a little bit but yeah it is bomb i love it so much but yeah that's kind of the pantry stuff
like pink a little bit more unique and we'll add a little bit more like texture a little bit. It's not quite the right, like more design. So I think I'm gonna put these on the top like this on that very top section. These are like a medium size and then these are bigger. And I think on that same side on the bottom that we have empty, I could put different things in there. This isn't the right spot. We're in Target now, by the way. I like this comparing to like the, the swooped ones because these I feel like is gonna be a little bit more customizable and you can utilize the space better and even maybe stack some on top. I don't know. I don't think this is as pretty as the other ones, but I, I like this one. See, I think the look of these is so pretty and so nice. I'll link all these down below for you guys and like the different sizes. Like these I think are great. At the same time, this is $26. And I think these are like easier for people to open. I mean, that's for sure. But it, and they're so aesthetically pleasing, but they're so expensive. I would watch a TJ Maxx. We just found some of them over there. I really wanted these. But I don't know. I don't know, you guys, they're pretty expensive. Maybe over time I could see getting them all and buying them piece by piece but yeah they're pretty pricey see i do think these might be good too i don't know maybe i should have got these but at the same time we have too much acrylic and especially if it's gonna sit on the floor of a pantry i feel like it's just gonna be dirty like all the time i don't know this is kind of more what i was thinking about it's like having this opening and having them stacked but like still being accessible to reach in there but i don't know Okay, we're in the bathroom section, and I think these are really good options too. And I think this would totally work in your pantry. And I kind of like that, and even for like your pots and pans. Some are more expensive, some aren't. This is actually for the pots and pans. But I think these are really, really good options too. Like even like something like this, I think would actually be really handy. Maybe putting like small dog treats here and then like the canned items down here. I don't know, I think these are really cute too. They're not exactly what I'm looking for, like, this is awesome. I have something like this. Okay, I had to show you some of these candles because they're really good. This one I get almost every year and it's delicious. It's very spa-like. And this one is also really spa-like, but it's more floral, but not super floral. This is a bakery all the way and it's very good. Very, very good. And then the other one I really like is this one. Oh, and then this one, I recently got two and they're just so pretty. They're great little gifts and they're on sale right now. All the candles are 20% off. So I'll link these down below as well. And they come in two different sizes and then some of them have the re diffusers as well. dinner got situated it's my time now okay at target this is not what i came for they had really cute little girl shoes which i would totally want them in my size they're like this little like basket weave adorable 20 dollars. everything and anything i ever show you guys that is always going to be linked down below 
And then we're trying to be better readers. I've definitely gotten into like reading like the last like six to eight months, something like that. Um, and my son um, really likes to read too. So I'm trying to get him, I'm trying to negotiate with him to not pick a Disney book and to pick a Harry Potter book. So I bribed him with money. But then also I told him, if he reads it, I'll read it. So him and I are both gonna start their Harry Potter books and I figured I'll read exactly what he's reading and then we can kind of like do it together and that'll be fun. He also picked out the Jurassic World book. This is above his grade level or his reading level, but I'm like, and dude, it's a book and that's what you want. And then Blakely picked up, of course, a princess type book. Uh, but that was kind of it for Target, I think. There was a little more. Okay, and then we went to your back. Your Max is like, it wasn't that great, you guys. It wasn't that great of a time. I thought there was gonna be more. I should have taken you guys yesterday when I went because yesterday was like packed. Uh, but it was so good. Okay, but I did pick up these baskets and I got two sets of them. I liked the little like design. Cute, right? Okay, so I got two of those. So I think the big ones are gonna go on the bottom. And then the, the the medium size is gonna go on the top. I did find at Costco, someone posted it on Instagram. It was like a, a double crate, like smaller crate and they slide. And it was like a set, it was like two by two. And it looked really good and it was $25. So I might keep watching for that. So I might even like keep the tags off on, on the big ones because I prefer that. But if I can't order it, if I really have to go into the store, I don't know, I'll pop a picture of it here on the screen because it's so good. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's get into the pantry because I wanna wrap this up in a bow. And then I also, also, I've got to show you guys this kitchen tool. I don't know, it's not really a kitchen tool, it like goes everywhere. My dog is the messiest eater, so that's why I like his dog food's in there. All you do to empty it is just like this little, and see how it like empties out? Let me empty it. It was bomb, it's made by Shark. It's awesome, it's cordless, and it's a little vacuum, and you don't have to have your finger on the button the entire time. This has been my favorite tool of my entire house, like no joke. You're gonna see me like clean up a little bit in there before because I want it like fresh and good, but even like, no joke, like vacuuming out these baskets is gonna be a breeze. In the car, the mess is, I honestly thought about keeping one like just for my car. This thing is amazing. I just got it over the weekend. I love it. And then I also got, we're having to do, like, I set it up over there to open up up there, but I, it's not going to work. But then also, I got an additional set of those bins. They came in a ton of different sizes. I will say, when I first opened one, they were extremely hard to get open, but then it got better. And then this guy... This looks wonderful. It looks terrifying and wonderful all at the same time. I don't know, I'm really excited. It was only 10 bucks and I thought the color was really, really, really pretty. It's gonna be painfully good all at the same time. But yeah, that's gonna work out, go in my little workout space out in the garage. But yeah, I'm excited. I felt like I was gonna get more, but like things have gotten, I mean, things, I mean, they weren't bad. Like these were like $16.99 and then like the big one, $14.99 and then the medium one was $12.99. It wasn't that bad, but it just adds up, you guys. It adds up. Okay, so let's get in the pantry. Let me let me show you guys what we got here. Hold on. Okay, and then did you see those little dinner napkins? Why didn't I buy them? Because I wanted them for in here and I need to clean my counters. Okay. So this is where we are, right? This is, this is the mess that we have created. So my thought is again, the medium baskets will go up top here and then the larger ones will go on the bottom. We just need to like handle this situation. We have, um, Harley has a ruptured cyst on his back that he's getting removed next month. Uh, and they are stocking him up on things. Um, so this is like his like little first aid kit that we have been taking everywhere. And then these placemats. I got these at Ross for like dirty cheap. Like I don't even remember. I just got them and they're wipeable. I don't know. These were Target. These were Pottery Barn. And then I think I have Christmas ones. Yeah. We use these like religiously. So I have to unfortunately keep them here because I don't know. The kids like set the table on that every night and it just makes it easier. But we just have like little 
little random things like pineapple don't belong with a cereal. So we're gonna we're gonna finish sprucing this all up. had to replace all the ones that I already have. The ones from TJ Maxx, I'm telling you guys, they're cheaper, but they are such a pain. Like they're, ugh, they drive me nuts. Sometimes I just think it's better to just spend the money. This one I would highly recommend. I will, I will link other ones down below because I obviously can't link things, these, and I wouldn't link these because they drive me nuts. Like they do the job, yes. But it's so frustrating to get them apart and to use them. Oh my God, they drive, they drive me crazy. One thing I will say though, see how they have like these like little lines through here? I do like that because I feel like they will scratch a little bit. I don't know, but that's what I feel is gonna happen with these over time. So I like that these have those lines to kind of disguise it, but don't, <laughs> Spend the extra money, get the better ones because these drive me crazy. <laughs> So excited to go over all of these things. I actually just did it and forgot to hit record, but it looks so good. Let's go through all of it. All right, from bottom to top. Okay, so I keep bag or I keep the tags on things because if it gets to be close to my 30 days and I'm still happy, I take off the tags. But until then, I want to know that things are going to work because this might look like aesthetically pleasing now, but what's going to happen in like a week or two? I want to make sure it's going to work. So that's why you'll see things with tags on them because I'm not taking them off until I know they're going to work. And then this is like protein shakes, collagen. This is like my morning section, right? So all of our drinks and that, 
Um, this is like for my Nespresso pods that get recycled and I send them back to Nespresso. Those go in here. I want a special spot for them and easy so I can send them back and recycle them. And then this is like water enhancers, coffee, flavorings, um, some hot chocolate for the kids. And then this is um, pre-workout for Beachbody. You guys know I do Beachbody and I love it. That's my, my mom crack, like my mom juice. And then all of our vitamins in that that we take. And then the mom necessities, the survival kits are back there. These are my extra place mats. Um, I had another place by my dining room table to where I store or I'm storing my current place mats. Um, but these are just like ones that I'm not using. I still could have them close and have them all together. But yeah. And then this, you guys, is amazing. Okay, so this is completely wipeable, which I love because I spill in this thing all the time. But it's for sandwich, quart, snack, and then gallon. And I love it. The only complaint I have, and if somebody's figured this out, because I have not, you have to shove it in the hole. There's not like a, a side or a back that comes off that I know of. Someone comment down below if they have this. And they have been able to figure it out. But I, that's the only way I've been able to refill it is through the top. But it's fine. It does not bother me. And then this I love. This is all of our uh, parchment paper, wax papers, tinfoil, napkins, garbage bags. This is easy. The kids do all of this section. So I like that it's easy for them. And they can spot it because I tend to move things around. They can spot everything that's in there. And then moving up, this is our cereal. I wanted to show you, I don't have all of these the right direction, I see. Um, but these are the labels. I kept one of these bins with the old labels on here. I've had these for literally forever. I put them in the dishwasher. They're great. Um, but these are the labels that it comes with. You can choose to put them on. I've now since taken them all off. They come with a little sharp, sharp um, chalk marker. Um, and I am going to now take that one off, but I tend to store them like this. I can see that I need to pick some of these other ones and then overflow. And then I buy these in bulk. They're the whole grain animal crackers. You guys know this is my car rider line snack. I love them. And then chips. I did like Pringles and that. And then if you wanted it like prettier, more aesthetically pleasing, you could put something like this. It's going to fit the spot better. But like my kids know, like they're going to be there. They're going to be finding them. And then also to anything that needs to be finished first. So like we need to finish the taco flavor before we start like all of these or however you want to do it. Um, I always do things kind of like at the grocery store, things that need to be eaten first, need to come to the front and then everything in the back. Popcorn, my guilty pleasure. And then this works for us. Now, I think some of you guys will say otherwise. This is all of like my rice. This is like a mixture of brown rice, wild rice. It's so good. And then my parboiled rice. What I usually do is I usually make a little bit of rice for the week and then at least for like two dinners worth and then I just reheat it. I don't go back here quite often like I don't really use a lot of that stuff um we do lower car but we're not keep, we don't do any of that anymore we just we have a starch with every meal but like I said I usually just do a little bit of like the parboiled rice so that works for us you guys will have to do this and alter it the way that you need it and then this is our box food you guys this is lazy cake but I'm telling you the lemon oh it's delicious. And I love that these have handles. So these are the ones I got over the weekend also from TJ Maxx, but I found really good ones similar that I will link for you. And then this is jarred items, um, canned items. I think I even have like my like paste and stuff like that. Anything that I kind of know, soupy, saucy, things like that, I kind of did in here. And then this is canned beans and vegetables and that. And then for all of this, I kind of separated it a little bit. So this one's going to be more for like cooking. So the cornstarch, the food coloring, vanilla, sherry, all of those things. And then peanut butter, honey, maple syrups. I kind of tried to like do them in categories. And then the little bit of frosting, like this is like the kids little. I always get like seasonal ones. I think these ones are just like donuts or something. Yeah, they're really good. And then... <laughs> I think a lot of you guys aren't going to like this. I did the potatoes and the pineapple up there. Here's the thing. The reason why I did them up there like that is because I know that they're up there. But if you don't know, that's why I got this style of bins instead of something more covering like this. This you can see through. These you can't. So these are things that you could easily forget about. I won't forget about them because I have bought these two specific things that I put up there. Any kind of produce like that, I put up there for a reason. So, and then um, I did our breads and that, trust me, we ain't forgetting that's up there. Um, and then also, 
We obviously buy our paper towels in bulk. I think most of America does at this point. Uh, but this is this is just more aesthetically pleasing. So the ones that I get at Sam's Club come in like this big orange individually wrapped paper or plastic. I did not like the looks of it at all. So I took off all the plastic, recycled it, and then stored them up there. And then I had one extra bin to have here was four and then that was four because they come in sets of three so my extra bin I put up there there's always like Halloween candy like some kind of something that someone brings over brings home that's an extra bin for it so I kind of love that I just shoved it up there um but yeah you guys I'm really 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 happy oh and then this is all of our snacks so this is like the kids snacks and stuff like that our little guilty pleasures these pop chips oh so good and then this is like all nuts and then this is a little bit of like whole grain cereal and then granola and this is like the baking item so like the flour the sugar brown sugar all of the goodness is going to be up there but you guys I think it turned out so good and did you see how easy that vacuum was like I love that oh the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I put a lazy Susan back here now we have the space to put it here we are a cereal family we love cereal so I usually have like at least one or two more of the cereal bins that I have here so I wanted to a lot for the space like that's something too we have a decent amount of groceries right now but at the same time I want it a lot for when I do my Sam's Club, Costco orders, wherever I'm shopping. Um, I wanted the space for it. But for the overflow things, I wanted to have this Lazy Susan. I wanted to make sure that this is also big enough. So we'll see if this one, whoo, the light bulb's going out. Sorry, guys. Uh, I wanted to make sure that this one's going to be big enough. So that's why I left on all the tags. So, or if I need to get a second one, I know which one to get to match um and 10 bucks i don't think that was bad at all uh, but you can see with the heavier weight it doesn't slide as nice but it does the job but i don't use that that often and trust me we're not going to forget that we need more ketchup i will always even the kids know they could check back here so i have that back here and then my butter i just put it here because i liked it with like my seasoning stuff some people like to leave it on their counter i like less on my counter but i'm i'm good with that and then i don't worry about the glass because this is tile so that will bust. So if you're ever worried about something like that, keep it a little bit to where you really got to like, it's not as easy to get to, to where maybe an adult would need to get it. That's just what works for us. But yeah, I just set it back there. But let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm super happy with that. We're going to wind down for the night, but I want to walk you guys around the house and show you some of my favorite, just a few favorite organizing things that I have around the house that I think are so good. Okay, I was hoping for a couple things to be in stock or to be delivered here, but they keep getting delayed. For one, it's a little cord wrap. I'm sure you guys have seen it, the ones that wrap behind the KitchenAid. I ordered it for that. I will keep you guys posted on Instagram because I think that's going to help a lot. Uh, if you are a coffee pod person, mine are at least can be recycled. I just send them back to Nespresso and they actually recycle them for me. They send me a prepaid label and everything, but I love it because all of the these can store in this basket. I order a lot, a lot. Like if you guys can't tell, like I order a lot. So I just did an order and this I like because it's two separate ones. So if you have like yours and like his and hers, or if you have like someone, like when you have guests come, you want to do like espressos or double espressos. That's what all of these are. They're going to be like espressos and double espressos. Like you can see this one's bigger. It's going to be a double espresso. Um, and then these are going to be the coffees. So that's what I love is that I can have like two different ones, but this is just from Target. And it's just a really cute way. Like I love the colors and it just adds a little something here. But then at the same time, you can keep it organized. You don't have to store them in your pantry and it holds so many. I, I love this one. And I like that this is gold. Like I have just little touches of like this like brassy gold in my house. I think it's so cute. And then in here, it's not going to be that crazy, but I kind of wanted to show you guys. We have two sets of plates. I actually have three. I'll show you in a second. But I have two sets of plates. So I have my Corningware. I think they're Corningware or Corel. Corel. Uh, dishes that I've had for like ever. I cannot link these. I know you guys are going to ask. They are forever and a year old. And then I also have like my plastic ones. I buy like the pool ones. Um, 
and they just work a little bit better, but they're dishwasher safe. So glass and plastic, that's just an easy way. So if you guys have kids and you like to store them, I still like them together. I don't want to take up a whole bunch of space. You guys can see my dishwasher. It needs to be started here because it's slim. Uh, but I like that it all can be stored in here. I'm actually getting new glasses. So I got rid of uh, my old ones, but I want to say like, you don't have to go super organized. So I like to have like my coffee, uh, my coffee mugs there and then, oops, and then like my shaker cup and then my plastic cups. I'm even fine if I don't get glass ones and I stay with these. I bought these at TJ Maxx. I love them. Uh, but what is great is that I just have what fits. So yes, I still have a lot. Yes, I have seasonal and yes, this is my grandma's like set that she had like forever so, like me growing up but I wanted to put it in a smaller cabinet to give myself like an allowance of this is what I get to keep because I can go crazy with my cuppies <laughs> that is something real I I literally I think we could all have like too many mugs too many cuppies and we'd be like the happiest people alive so organize what you can but that's kind of what I was saying about the tumbler holder earlier when I think when we were at Target it very it kind of takes up too much space where I still have a lot here but they're still organized clear I can see you know my Disney one back behind there so when you leave the spaces you can kind of keep yourself organized don't need something for that not always do you need a little gadget to keep things organized it's just kind of limiting I think on what you have okay so this is another thing I like so these are just like bamboo tension separators okay so i have a couple sets in here i think i have three sets total and i still have one extra one but i kind of wanted to just separate what i could with still using one drawer right like a divider was not going to work for grilling and rubber spatulas so i kind of have mixed things in here so grilling you know different utensils specialty stuff tongs this is my spatulas, rubber spatulas, spoons, and then wooden spoons, and then spoon holders. I still feel like I'm very organized and everything. It's like an organized mess. It's like chaotically organized, I feel is the best way to put it. But what I like is this is totally custom. You can do things however you want. You can adjust them however you want. If you got this obscenely large Chicago Cubs spatula, but you love it so much like my husband loves these, I mean, you you figured out to where these things fit. So that's what I like, because you can see this one is much bigger than this one. You can totally adjust these to make them however you want. And if you wanted to go like horizontally, you could do that as well. I'll kind of show you here too. It's again, real life. But these I got at Walmart. I'm gonna go through and show you all of my drawers, all of my real life stuff, but I just got these. And I was able to get like quite a few in here. I mean, it was a really tight fit. So, and I wanted to leave some extra space for just like my dish towels. Um, but yeah, I love these. These are all that same brand. There are things that I will tell you are worth the money and not worth the money, worth the brand, not worth the brand. These are worth the brand. These are worth the money. So I'm going to like everything, including my silverware, because this is my favorite silverware because see, it is thick and they wash nice. And these are old. Like I've had these for 10 years and like... They still shiny and nice. I love them. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you. What did you think? What was your favorite little product? Let me know in the comments down below. I know the lighting is all off because it is dark now. It is late. What time is it? It is eight o'clock. It is past my bedtime, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like more of these vlog style videos, let me know in those comments down below. I love talking with you guys. If you haven't already done so and you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.